tongue. So my prayer is that they be blessed by thee and not impressed by me. And my tongue is the pen of the ready writer to write on the hearts of men things that are vital and necessary for their good success. Nevertheless, not my will, thine will be done. Speak to us, through us, and for us. And when it is all said and done, we'll be quick and careful to give your name the praise, honor, and the glory. It's in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, we pray. And they said, Amen. Amen. There's a word from the Lord today. If you have your Bibles, turn to me to the book of Job. To the ministers on the roster, to the, to the officers of this church, to you, my father's children, <clears throat> our God is an awesome God. <clears throat> Worthy to be praised. Job chapter 1. I want to drop. Bring up fresh water. You have Job chapter 1. Meet me at verse number six. When you have a say, I have it. Job chapter one, verse six, from the New International Version. You'll find these words recorded. One day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. Amen. I want to preach this passage as when hell invades a holy place. When hell invades a holy place. You may be seated. Thank you, ushers. Would you repeat our thought after us? When hell invades a holy place. Man shall not live by bread alone or by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Being men and women of God, we have been charged to preach with a Bible in one hand and a newspaper in the other. And so permit me if I just preach not what has been disclosed but unclosed. It was just yesterday, around Saturday morning, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, that a Caucasian man armed with a Army 15 rifle and at least three other handguns entered a Jewish synagogue and began to open fire during a prayer service. This Caucasian who was anti-Semitic killed 11 people, injured two policemen, four policemen, and two other people. This was not at a post office. This was not at a grocery store. This was the house of worship. For those of you who think that this is something new, go back a few years ago in Charleston, South Carolina. We had a prayer meeting, Bible study. A Caucasian man walks into the house of worship and begins to open fire on the people of God. People would think that this is racial, and it is racial. But Deaconess Nelson is more than racial, it is spiritual. Because as Christians, we don't see things from the natural perspective. We see it from the spiritual. This is just right now, I got Bible to prove my point. For Paul says to the Ephesian church, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, rulers of the darkness of this age, spiritual wickedness in high places. And I know some of you who can't look at it from a spiritual perspective would say, how in the world would a loving God, would a awesome, kind God allow people to be shot up? Watch this in his house. 
even that fellow who lives in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, instead of showing remorse, uh, sympathy, he says that if they would have tightened security in the, church, in the sanctuary, then maybe it wouldn't have happened. And I can't tell y'all that I said something holy when he said it because at that moment, pastor wasn't there, that was Jamarian, and so I repented for what I, but, 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 but you must understand that, that, that the devil don't care nothing about where you worship. As a matter of fact, as a dove in the text, Satan comes in too. You do understand that even in divine spaces, there is demonic presence. Let's look at the text for just a moment. Keep your Bibles open. But the Bible says this is Job. This is a book of, it's, it's actually a book of poetry. It's, it's, it's most of us like Job because we know his story already. But I'm not going to go through the whole story of Job. There are some, a couple of things I want to deal with in Job that lets us know that I don't care what church you go to. I don't care what house of worship. And watch this. You don't even have to be in the house of prayer. Because your house is also a sacred space. You ain't even got to be in your house. You can be in yourself. And yourself is a sacred space. And if there's any place the enemy wants to show up, he's going to show up where the Lord wants to be. We look at the text. The Bible says that we talk. We 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 know Job, don't you? Let, let's let's bypass his biography. You know, we know he's a wealthy man. He he he, he loves God. He shoots evil. He's he's fear he's fearless. Remorse. I love him. But 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 even though we look at Job's resume, something happens, Mother Thomas, in heaven. Here it is. Uh, something happens in in in, in heaven that, that lets me know that if Satan is bold enough to do it in God's presence. He don't care about your presence. That, that's, that's, that's why you, you say the devil can't come in certain spaces. Yes, he can. And if you're not careful, some of us brought him in here with us. Don't, don't look down your road, but he may have backpacked on your pew partner. He, he, that's why they're probably looking with that locked jaw mentality. They, they couldn't get in, in service because they brought. it's hard to worship when you didn't carry Satan in here with you too. That, 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 there are some things that happen uh, in this sacred space. Let, let, me, let, me, let me deal with what happens uh, when hell invades a holy place. Number one, uh, there is an angelic presentation. I'm in verse number six. An angelic presentation. If you're taking notes, that's my first point. An angelic presentation. Let the church say angelic. Say presentation. Here it is. The Bible says that on a certain day, watch this. Now, now, now you gotta understand that that is not early day, is is some days. That which means that there's a certain point in time, in in Chronos time, that the angels. That that's what the word son of God means. Uh, they are the they are the first creations that God created. These angels. If I had time, I'd tell you about the different classes of angels. You know, the the archangels, the seraphims, and the cherubim. I, if I had time, I, I'd tell you about Gabriel and Michael and, and, and all, the, but I ain't got time to tell you that. But on a certain day, all of these fellows, uh, and, and just in case you wanted to know, angels are not them little babies with the cute curly hair that you see on Valentine. That, that ain't no angel. Now, the Bible says that, that, that we are made a little lower than an angel. No, them some big jokers. They, 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 you can't see them in the natural, but in the spirit, they are some tall fellas. That, 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 maybe that's why they used to sing a song, you can't get happy off it, but they used to sing a song all night. Y'all know that song? And all day, angels keep, I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how your angel keep watching over you, because some of us in here got lead feet. And the only reason why the constable didn't stop you was because the angel kept, y'all ain't talking. They, do you know how many people have been trying to kill you? Do you know how many people have been trying to stab you, slap you, beat you up, trying to get you fired? The only reason why you are still where you are right now is because God got angels. Y'all don't want to be real today. 
you done got so sloppy drunk, you don't know how you made it from the hole in the wall to your house. Only to discover you fell asleep in the car while the car was running and your foot was on the on the gas on the brake. And had your foot would have moved, you would have ran right into the garage. The only reason why the car didn't go forward, God had his angels. Got out the car, closed the door, but left the key in the door. Only to wake up in the morning to find the key still in the door without the alarm going off. God got it. Y'all ain't talking to me. He got angels. So these angels, they, they present themselves before God. Now, 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 you got to understand this, that this is their thing. They're supposed to give an account on what they do in the celestial and the terrestrial. They got to give an account. They got to make a report. Now watch this. So, so don't, 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 don't be surprised. Angels have to give an account. Now, 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 so we got an angelic presence, but not only do we have an, an angelic presence, number two, we have an, 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 an accusatory presence as well. We have an angelic presentation. But number two, we have an accusatory presence. Because even though these sons of God, Sister Bonnie Wilson, came to present themselves, Satan showed up. Now, now don't, 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 don't think this is out of character. Because before Satan was Satan the adversary, he was Lucifer the adorer. Before he was Satan the accuser, he was Lucifer the praise and worship leader. Now, now you got to understand, he knows what it's like to be in the presence of the Lord. And that's why he comes to church with us. Because we're doing what he got kicked out of heaven from doing. He was the music in God's ear. He was the one that gave God the glory. Music will literally come out of his mouth. Uh, Layla Hathaway is one of my favorite artists. Layla Hathaway has this uh, ma magical trick with her voice. She can do all harmony through her voice at the same time. But if you think Layla Hathaway was somebody, Satan says she got that from me. But Satan got so cocky that he didn't want to praise God. He wanted to beat God. And so he moved from an adorer to an adversary, watch this, to an accuser. <laughs> and, and you don't understand that. That's why uh, you got some folk who come to church to adore, but then you got some who come to accuse. Uh, they, they can't bless God with you, uh, but they talking about what you got on. Uh, they talking about what your hair look like. They talking about why you shouting the way you shout. They talking about why you look the way you look. They mad because you sit in their seat. They mad because you're making all that noise. Uh, they can't bless God with you, uh, but they can talk about what's wrong with you. Satan shows up. And the Lord says to him, what are you doing here? That's not, a, that's not an ignorant question. God knows what he's doing now. He's basically saying, give a report of what you've been doing. And Satan says, I'm, I've just been going to and fro. Can I, can I help you, church? Please stop sending Satan to a place he ain't never been yet. You know how we pray, you know, I, I, I bind. So first of all, you can't bind Satan. And you can't send him to the pits of hell. Because see, when, when in Isaiah chapter 13, when he fell, he fell to earth. And, and you do understand, Satan is always trolling. <laughs> oh yes he is. Uh, he's not trolling your Instagram, he's not trolling your Facebook, he's trolling your marriage, he's trolling your children's bedroom, he's trolling your mind, he's trolling the choir stand, he's trolling the, uh, y'all ain't talking, he's trolling the usher boy, and if you're wondering uh, what Satan is doing, grandmama used to say it like this, the devil is busy. Now if Satan is busy, why are you trying to take a vacation? Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? 
if Satan is busy, why are we trying to take a break? The more busier he is, the more busier we should be. We need to let the enemy know, I don't care what you're trying to do to me, my children, my house, I'm going to be just as busy as you are. The Bible says, he says, what are you doing here? And, and Satan said, I'm just going to and fro. I'm, I'm just doing my job. Now watch this. Here's a shout cue. That if all the sons of God are accountable, then Satan is also accountable too. <laughs> that means, watch this, you're going to miss your shout cue. Uh, uh, he's going to have to give an account for everything he's done to you. He's going to have to give an account for what he tried to do to your house. He's going to have to give an account for what he tried to do to unity. He's going to have to give an account for what he's been trying to do to you right now. And you may not understand it, but one day he got to stand before God and answer for everything. He, he, he's not an adorer, he's an accuser. He's accusing us. He's accusing, watch this, he's accusing two people. He's accusing God of preferential treatment. It's in the text. Okay, shout because you close your Bible. The Bible says that, 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 that God is running down Job's resume. He, 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 he's blameless. He loves me. He hates you. And, and, Job, and watch Satan start accusing God. Does he not worship you for nothing? Don't you have this thing around him? Called a hedge? Saints don't know when to shout. Because see, you think because you went to such and such school and you got such and such fraternity and you got them letters behind your name uh, that you doing it all by yourself. But I wish I had 18 of us in here that said, I know it ain't got nothing to do with me. But the reason why I'm still breathing right now, God got a hedge around me. Now, now, now watch this. Now, now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how good the hedge is. Uh, uh, come, come here, Deacon Marshall. Uh, come here, Deacon Marshall. Uh, um, 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 come, come, come here, uh, brother, brother Minister Gonzalez, if you would. Uh, uh, come, come here, Sister Dovey, if you would. Come, yeah, Minister Rico, come here, come in real quick. I, I want to show you. Uh, here's, here's, here, this is you right here. Now, now watch this. Stay right here. Now, now y'all, uh, get, get, yeah, get around her. Now get this. Now, 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 baby girl, come here, baby girl, come, come here. Come in, come in. Now y'all, 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 put your, y'all, get in the head. No, not her. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. No, no, stop her from getting in here. Stop her. Stop her from getting in. Stop her. Cause see, that's the devil. You're not the devil, but you know, she, <laughs> she's symbolic of the enemy. Now watch this. Now the hedge, watch this, is to stop stuff from getting in. Y'all yeah. stop her from getting in. Stop, stop her from. Now, nah, now, nah, nah. cause see, sometimes the enemy wants to destroy you. Come on, that's it. There you go. He, he wants to make you give up. He wants to make you give up. But God got a hedge around you. I don't care how many pink slips you got. God got a hedge around you. I don't care what your pocketbook look like. God got a hedge. Watch this. Now, you can be seated. Now watch this. Come, come in, Sister Dovey. Come in. Because see, watch this. Sometimes God's hedge is not just to protect stuff from getting in. It's to stop you from getting out. Because see, sometimes you want to throw in the towel. You want to commit suicide. You want to walk away from it. But God said, I'm not going to let you go because I got you in my hand. <laughs> Would you tell somebody God's got me? Come on, you don't know when to praise God. I know you don't, it don't look like it, but on this Sunday afternoon, let me tell you, God's got you. But not only does he got you, he got your mama, he got your son, he got your daughter, he got that boy that's out on the street. Who got that? Thank you. He got the whole world. Yes, Lord. In his hand. He's a, he's a, he's a, don't you have a hedge around him? You giving him preferential treatment. That's another word for that, because, uh, that, that word is called favor. Woo! I got happy right there. Unity, if you don't lose your mind for nothing else, you don't deserve nothing God gives you. But the only reason why you got it is because of, of favor. All you should do, all you should do. 
Watch this. I gotta go. He, he says, he says, he says, he says, you giving him preferential treatment. But not only is Satan accusing God, but he's also accusing Job. He's accusing Job because although God has given him preferential treatment, he's also given, Job has given God partisan trust. Partisan trust. That means that I'm not trusting in nobody else but God. And, and, and when God has proven himself over and over and over again, you learn to tell the world my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest flame but holy lean on Jesus. You're going to miss it. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of yes, Lord. Anybody here trusting in the Lord, sick in your body, you don't know which way to turn, but one thing I will do, I will trust in the Lord. I gotta go. He said, tell you what you do. Lift that hedge. I'll make him cuss you to your face. Do you know the, do you know the enemy every day is telling God, to move that head from around you because uh, if you move that head from Rose Taylor I promise you she ain't coming back no more if you lift that head from Keisha she ain't gonna praise you no more if you lift that head from Reverend Wilson he ain't gonna pray to you no more but see the enemy is so stupid because this ain't our first time trusting God and if I trusted him last time, I don't know nothing else to do but trust him again. Look, look, look. I gotta go. I gotta go. He, he, he said, all right, since you're gonna, since you're gonna accuse, all right, here's, let me give you something. Here's the last thing and I'm done. Let me give, God gives Satan, number three, an authorized protection. The authorized protection. Uh, Y'all still with me? I'm in verse number uh, 12. Because the Lord says to Satan, very well, uh, watch this, you're going to miss your child cute. Uh, and this is going to make you mad. Uh, you, the, Lord, the Lord says to Satan, he is in your hands. Now, now some of y'all getting scared right now. Because you don't want to be in Satan's hands. Now, now, uh, y'all understand something? There are a couple of things that Satan did. I told you that this is an authorized. Well, now, now, I'm, I'm going to make you mad. Anything that has happened to you, positive and negative, God signed his name on it. God does not sign his name on anything that won't give him glory. And can I bless you right now? Because right now, you're trying to figure out why is my life going topsy-turvy? Let me help you. God is using where you are right now to get the glory out of your life. Because if the enemy can, if, you, if the enemy keep pressing you, what the enemy fail to realize is the more he presses you, the closer you get to, to where you need to be. And when you get to where to be, you lift up your hands and say, Father! He, he, he said, he said, lift, yeah, touch him, touch him. So a couple of things that, that Satan touches. Number one, he touches Job's stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means his cattle, his camelax, his oxen, his donkeys, all of that stuff. Go on. Now, now, now see, here's why you shouldn't be so worried. It's because uh, uh, stuff recycles. Are y'all here with me? Uh, some of y'all saying, I'm old. No, you ain't old. You just recycled. Because uh, see, certain things that are old come back in style.
To all of my yellow bone brothers and sisters, y'all coming back in style. Same way bell bottoms came back in style. See, Jerry Curls, y'all thought went out of style. No, they just changed the name, Wave Nouveau. You see some of these young men with flat tops? This ain't nothing new, brothers. We had that long. Talk back to me if you can. The Bible says ain't nothing new under the sun. So, 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 God touched his stuff, uh, Satan touched his stuff, but here's another thing, and this might hit closer. So, Satan said, well, if I can't get him with his stuff, let me touch his seed. The reason why the seed, because ain't nothing close to you as something that came from you. I, I could care less about that pinto. I care less about that one bedroom flat. But when they come to my child, I need somebody to talk back to me. And the enemy knows you are so blessed. But if he can get you to stop focusing on God and worry about what your daughter doing while you at church, then you'll never trust God and give God glory. And Satan says, as long as I got your seed, I got you too. But you got to remember, you are somebody else's seed. I'm going to get happy all by myself. And somebody covered you when you couldn't cover yours. I need somebody here who know I made it because I had a big mama praying for me. I had a papa praying for me. I had a pastor Thomas praying for me. I had a somebody praying for me. And the same way they covered me, I can cover them. I gotta go. Ooh, I gotta go. I gotta go. He says. He says. He says. He says. He, says, he covered his. He covered his stuff. He, he, he covered his seed. Oh, watch this. Uh, he he covered his he touched his skin. Uh, I'm in chapter two now. Cause because when when all of that, because you know, after all of that, Job still worshiped. And, and and he still had to hedge. And Satan said, you know what? Let me touch his skin. Let me touch him. And uh, if I can touch him, I get him. And the Lord said again, all right, authorized protection, you can touch him. Uh, now, now here's what makes the devil so upset. Jemiah, come here, baby. Uh, watch this. I got I to gotta use my babies. Because see, I told, you, I told you it's authorized protection. Can you do like this? Now, now watch this. Now, 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 now get this. This uh, is you. Uh, uh, you ain't the devil. But uh, these hands represent God uh, putting you in Satan's hands. But wait a minute. Even though you're in Satan's hands, Satan is in God's hands. You still ain't getting it. And ain't nothing gonna happen to you that God ain't gonna let happen. So no matter what the devil do to you, Eventually, if you keep trusting God, God gonna reach in Satan's hands and eventually pull you out. Thank you, baby. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But watch this. He touched his stuff. He touched his seed. He touched his skin. But he couldn't touch his soul. You want to know why the Lord wouldn't let Job die? Uh, it ain't in the Bible, but you learned it in the hood. If, you, if you've if ever been a thug, a gangster, uh, uh, if you've ever been out there in the streets, uh, they told you this, uh, dead men don't talk. So if you die, you can't tell nobody what the Lord did for you. And that's why the devil wants you dead. Because as long as you got a mouth, you can tell somebody if it had not been. I can't hear nobody. You 
You may be sick, but you still got your mouth. You may be broke, but you still got your mouth. You may not have a job, but you still got your mouth. He may have your hands tied and your feet tied, but you still got your mouth. And you can still open your mouth and say, I will bless the Lord. Dead men don't talk. And if you can't talk, you can't tell somebody. I know a man from Galilee. If you're in sin, he'll set you free. But I know what you're saying, Pastor. Them folk in Pittsburgh died. They ain't got no testimony. Them folk in Charleston died. They ain't got no testimony. But watch this. Even though they died, everybody didn't die. Which means if you can't tell your story, God's got somebody to tell the story for you. Have I got a witness here? I know you may not understand it, but there are some people that are watching you because they want to tell somebody else what the Lord did for you. Will you help me testify real quick? But this ain't your testimony. Look down your row and say, neighbor, I got to testify for my neighbor. I don't know everything that my neighbor been through. But one thing I do know, the Lord has been blessing my neighbor. The Lord has been blessing my pew partner. And if he did it for them, he can do it for you. Have I got a witness here? Let the devil come when he want to. Let him try what he want to. I still got a testimony. Is there anybody here? No, you got a testimony. What's your testimony? He woke me up early this morning. Started me on my way. Anybody got a testimony? That when I look back over my life and I think things over, all of my good days, I'd weigh my bad days. So I lift up my hands, throw my head back, and say, thank you, thank you. Ain't it all right? Have I got a witness here? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, let the devil do what he want to. He ain't gonna stop me from praising my God. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Can I ask you one question? My time is up, y'all. But can I ask you one question? Ain't it all right? Ain't it all right? Won't it walk with you? Won't it talk with you? Won't it guide your feet? Won't it hold your hand? If you know you will, lift up your hands. Throw your head back. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.